Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them, General Braddock. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Damn. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. And as luck would have it, so are they. Come along. Hmm. Convenient. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Hmm, nice. The closer you are to your enemies, the faster they will detect you. Keep your distance to avoid being seen. Indeed. Perhaps Don Marlborough. No. One of Lynn or Ship Street. Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. Oh, they're looking for recruits? Nice. Oh, hey, cat. What's up, kitty? Nice. Yeah, look at Charles over there. Blending in. It's fantastic. We're gonna use him as a distraction somehow. A little too close there, Charles. Just, uh, just a little bit too close. Excuse me, Charles. The hell? Now! Distract them, now! Quick, a distraction! Pocket sand! Toss the pocket sand down, Charles. Oi! You thieves and scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> he really just threw some shit at him. After him! Not even that he threw it, the fact that he even picked it up to begin with. Picked up a giant horse turd off the streets. <laughs> run, Charles, run. Run, my boy. Ugh. Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Oh boy, we gotta fight our way out. Oh, ah! Hang on. Uh, 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 don't you run. Don't want him running. Don't worry, I got those. Come on, beat their ass, John. Beat their ass. We should probably reload real quick. Oh, we're already done. I stay my hand today because you were once my brother. And a better man than this. Or should our paths ever cross again? 
all debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on, then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying... I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. John Pitcairn is Irish, by the way. Irish or Scottish? I love his... his accent. I have a new email again, by the way. By the way, we just hit about 25 minutes now. Close to 25 minutes, so we're... We're on our way. Actually, about to the point now that we had... I just... I'm mad that I missed that uh, conversation. Like I said, if I remember before I put out these videos, I'll remember to re-record it and splice it in. That's how you know this stuff is live commentary. Because I fuck up like that. Okay. I think this next mission is... I think I know what this one is. And we're not quite there yet, but I want to listen. I want to talk to the guys. I like the additional conversations. Let's listen to John Pitcairn. If I may, I was curious about your past with Braddock. You two clearly have a history. Edward was one of us upon a time, and I considered him a close friend. He was brave and bold in ways few men are. But everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French, and were in the midst of egress. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, a young man and his family came upon us, begging for safe passage. I consented, but Edward refused. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest. Even the children. Jesus. To this day, I don't know why. Was this the first time he'd struck out? Or had I simply never seen it before? Either way, things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed and killed. Enemy or ally, civilian or soldier, guilty or innocent. It mattered not. If he perceived one to be an obstacle, they died. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution. It became his mantra. And it broke my heart. I had no idea. He hides it well, and intimidates into silence any who discover him. Those who persist have a tendency to find misfortune. And we should stop him. I suppose you're right. But I maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason. I know, I know. It's a silly thing to believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly change. I'm sorry to have brought us up. It was not my intent to sour you. Nonsense. We are brothers now. There should be no secrets between us. Damn. I don't think I ever had that conversation before. I hope you and the general find a way to patch things up. I I I doubt that at this point, sir. I'll let you know as soon as I have some. Okay. Let's talk to uh, Ben so, Benjamin Church. Question for you. Why medicine? I'm supposed to tell you I care for my fellow man, right? That I chose this path because it allows me to accomplish the greater good. Are these things not true? Perhaps. But that's not what guided me, no. For me, it was a less abstract thing. I like money. There are other paths to fortune. But what better wear to pedal than life? Nothing else is as precious nor so desperately craved. And no price is too great for the man or woman who fears an abrupt and permanent end. Your words are cruel, Benjamin. But true as well. 
You took an oath to help people, did you not? I abide the oath, which makes no mention of price. I merely require compensation, fair compensation, for my services. And if they lack the required funds? Then there are others who will serve them. Does a baker grant free bread to a beggar? Does the tailor offer a dress to the woman who cannot afford to pay? No. Why should I? You said it yourself. Nothing is more precious than life. Indeed. All well, the more reason one should ensure they have the means to preserve it. That actually ended at like the perfect time. I had to run downstairs because I realized I didn't. Oh, hang on. I'm moving away from the mic. I realized that I uh, I needed to turn up our heater. I have some ledgers to review. Do you mind if we speak later? Sure. What you got for me, Thomas? Got no office to give. Okay. And current. When I do, you'll be the Info first. Infiltrating Southgate. Yeah, that ended at like the perfect time because I had to run downstairs and turn up our heaters because it was getting cold. And plus, we have a new snake. That's in our dining room, away from the other guys. So I didn't want her to get too cold. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. Perfect. We enter Silas' fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then. Let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. This is going to be fun, he says. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. Unawares. Stagecoaches for all your travel destinations. Quick a distraction. Damn, how that happened, guys. Pick up a weapon. We gotta kill the convoy. Aliu! I don't know why that happens. I was, I was actually expecting that to happen. <laughs> For some reason, the past two times I have played this game when I start the um, the mission and it says, you know, to kill the convoy the first time I attack someone it always, like, ends the mission on me ac accidentally come on, boys, whip their ass Come on, guys, what are you doing? Got it. Charles, you and Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. Hi there. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. 
If you've a party, we've the space. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? Nope, she's a silent one. You must be rather important to him if you are given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. I mean, why why should she trust us? We're we're kind of the bad guys. And by that I mean like Native Americans getting encroached and such. As has always been the case, unfortunately. Identify yourself. Identify hey, yourself. What's the meaning of it? Thankfully, this this section is pretty smooth. Engage the enemy. Whip their ass, boys. And everybody's like none the wiser. Look at Thomas up there. I think that's Thomas. Uh oh. The no man reach us. Looks like you're to meet the reaper. That is Thomas. You see how Thomas was scaling that building? What a badass. I like the disguise sections here too. Not many other games have you don a disguise and do this. Aha! Bringing fresh meat, eh? On your guard, Come man. Here. I want to take a look. Of course. Thanks. Only say the word and I'll cut them down. That seems like no one cares. Engage the enemy. Come on, man. Yeah, look at this. We're killing everybody right outside this fort and no one cares. This is fantastic. That guy's still alive? All clear. He's still alive somehow, you see him? Well, I'm pretty sure we have accomplished our mission. Somehow no one is suspicious of all the dead men out here.